Welcome back to Public Affairs on Peach. Take a look at this. This is a drunk driving suit. It can mimic the feeling of being intoxicated. Last our high school students tried to learn firsthand with a mock sobriety test last school year. You can see it did not go so well. Joining me now is Steve Ewing, owner of Wade Ford. Um, and, and Steve, you want to tell us a little bit more about this suit because this is kind of a different approach um, to making sure that students know what it feels like to be intoxicated. Yeah, unfortunately, too many students already know. Uh, well, and yeah, that's they, a problem they know. in itself. <laughs> but the reality is, uh, Tracy, is that uh, drunk driving is a big yes. problem. And Ford Motor Company, we make cars and trucks. Mm -hmm. And obviously, we have to be responsible also. And I think Ford is taking all kinds of initiatives. This is one of many initiatives we're doing to uh, simulate what it's like for someone to be drunk. So in other words, we can take a stoop. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to give, show up with a, with a keg right. of beer. And, but show them how they can actually, what this will really feel like and what, it, what happens to you when you're impaired. Right, in, in, in a controlled environment. That's correct. To do that. How long has this suit been around? This suit's been around, Ford developed this suit in Germany in 2003. And they've been using this suit around the country. And I, I would say that we've had over five, 6,000 people wear this suit. Uh, there are different suits. This is, there's more than just one, mm -hmm. and they use it around the country to, to use simulation and to explain the, the dangers mm -hmm. and what it feels like if you get behind the wheel because everybody thinks that they're okay. Right. So many people admit that they, yeah, I've had a couple of glasses of wine or yes, I've had uh, a drink or two. And then they try to make their way, home, to make their way mm -hmm. home. And with all the other alternatives there are, to drunk driving, yeah. we're trying to show that this is, is that you need to be responsible. Right, it could cost their lives or the lives of someone else. Correct. Uh, you know what? We enlisted the help of our very own Rodney Harris to put the suit on for us because we wanted to see what it feels like. Rodney, how are you feeling? Restricted. Restricted? Yes. Feels kind of odd, huh? Lots of weights, so I feel like I'm being weighted down, uh -huh. um, and the goggles kind of make it like to where I can't completely see you. So it's like have, a wooziness to it. The reality is, is that he does have the earmuffs, and that obviously impairs your hearing because you can be impaired when you're drinking. You don't hear everything around you. We also have the goggles on you, which will simulate your vision. Yeah, and like be you impaired. can't completely see. That's right. And then we have a neck uh, uh, bandage around your neck that restricts your movement. Then we put on your joints, as you can see, the bandages on your elbows and on your knees, which also restrict your movement. And then on your driving leg, your, your right leg there, we uh, put a weight on there, and that weight is to simulate uh, how heavy your legs could feel when you've been drinking or impaired. And I feel like this, what, what the thing on my right, that's definitely the heaviest. Yeah. You almost can barely move your legs. Do you right. think you could get behind the wheel right about now? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No. I'll tell you what, we're going to do a little test here because this is why I'm holding the football and the tennis ball. Now, I want to see if you can actually I'm pretty catch coordinated, this, okay? Tracy. You are pretty yeah, coordinated. Yeah, pretty coordinated. Let's see if that... Got it. Whoa, but you yeah. almost lost That's Yeah, but you can't like You got to stand it, still right? and catch it. All right, all right. Okay, Put that try. one down. Let's let's see if you can catch the football, all right? That was no just a bad catch, period. <laughs> Don't say it was a bad throw. It was a very good throw. You just couldn't catch it. And right. the other thing, too, is, you know, when we talk about um, sobriety tests, field sobriety tests, they're going to ask you to walk a line. We have kind of a, a mock line here in the studio. Can you see it on the floor there, I Ronnie? cannot see it. Okay, well, just try and walk straight if you can. I'm going to bring you over here to the line. Here we go. There's a line right in front of you now. Okay. You walk straight. Try and walk straight. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. And all this with a suit. All this with a suit. And mm -hmm. Rodney, be careful. Rodney, okay, now let's stop. Grab stop, 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 stop where you are right now. Yeah. We want to. <laughs> we we, we want to keep you safe. This, this is our controlled <laughs> environment. We don't want anything to happen. The, re to Rodney. the reality is, Rodney, explain to you what, explain what you felt. Well, you can't walk. Yeah. Like when you, I feel like again, it's like it's almost like it's you're weighted down. Um, so yeah, that's the, although now that I'm doing it a second time, I feel like I'm getting right. the hang of it. Yeah. Guess what? In the field, police will not give you a second chance. I, I think a good way to put it, I feel like it, everything is like my, like I'm moving slower. Like my brain wants to go, but my body isn't moving like as fast as I want it to. And that is the purpose of what this suit is to accomplish. And we're actually going to be having this suit, uh, we, again, very in this area, in the market, using it specifically targeting students. So they have a real understanding because we'd rather you wear a suit now rather than wear an orange suit later. Right. OK, where there are suits so we can turn around and keep people safe. So many people moving forward with the football season mm -hmm. coming up uh, are going to be tailgating. And, it's, and we just wanted to bring awareness to that. Absolutely. There you go.
All right. Hey, the Ford driving suit will be available on the campus of Georgia Tech for students uh, coming up very soon. And that's going to be this Thursday. So if you'd like more information, go to drivingskillsforlife.com. Thanks so much for coming in. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you taking the time to wear this suit and show everybody. Please don't drive drunk. It's not good. No, not good for anyone. Hey, stay with us. Tips on the right instrument for your students. If they want to learn how to play something, tips to help them stay interested. We're right back after this.